Hi, Pisces. So we have the Seven of Pentacles. We have the world, Major Arcana. We have the beautiful Empress, Major Arcana as well. So with the Seven of Pentacles, we see this young woman here with her basket, looking at the tree or the bush with the coins or the pentacles that are the fruit that's on the bush. And it looks like she's pausing, she's studying maybe what's ripe and what isn't ripe. And with the Seven of Pentacles, there's a sense of uh, looking at your efforts, looking at your hard work, thinking about your dreams, your projects, whatever it is that you're working on, and coming to the realization that it, maybe it takes some, it'll take some more time and some energy and investment of resources to make them come true. And that you're deciding like which way you're going to go or how are you going to proceed. But if you have the patience and if you keep investing yourself within your project and nurturing your projects, then ultimately you will have your reward. The reward is at arm's length. You're not quite there, but if you continue doing the hard work, taking the time to do your best job, understanding when certain things come to fruition or, or, or ripe enough to be harvested. You can almost see in the illustration, it looks like she's deciding which one she might would like to pull off that bush and to put it in her basket. So, you know, there's a sense of using this time to study your situation, to look at your situation. You gain knowledge, you, get, you gain a little more insight into how you're doing. Maybe you have to tweak something, but ultimately if you continue to work hard, if you continue to nurture, to take care of your dreams, your goals, your hopes, your pursuits, that eventually you will have your reward. You just have to show a little bit of patience where you are right now. So then with patience and exhibiting patience and having the faith in yourself to get the job done is the world. And the world is a beautiful card about completion. It's about fulfillment. And it's about bringing these dreams, these goals, these hopes to a reality and to some type of closure. So this closure could be something that you would want to celebrate, that you might want to have a, uh, be, that you would be recognized for. But really at the source of it, it brings you great fulfillment and contentment because you've been able to ride the up and downs and you've been able to put in the time necessary to make things happen. So with contentment and with fulfillment of, of making goals come true or hopes, you know, you might be thinking to yourself that, you know, my world is looking pretty good right now. I'm pretty happy. And so the thing to think about is what's next. And, you know, it's always to consider of, of our world is part of the larger world of how do we make the world at large better as well where we can benefit ourselves but is what we're doing is our life purpose also making the world a better place too so just something to think about because really when everything is all right in your world or is good in your world that's kind of like the physical and the mental and the spiritual selves are joined together in harmony and are satisfied. So having satisfaction, reaching your goals, perhaps coming to the end of a cycle of projects or whatever it may be, we have the Empress. And in this illustration, this Empress is beautiful and she's sitting here in her chair and she has a, looks like a little wand in her hand and almost looks like the earth and earth uh, orb in her, her hand and there's a sense here of this feminine ideal nurturing loving compassionate loves all of the earth's creatures 
and plants, animals, whatever, bring, loves life and brings life. You know, literally some people, some mothers bring life to children. This can also suggest life to ideas and to, again, what do you, where do you want to head next? It's, it's uh, encouraging you to find your creative self and to find your highest expression of creativity. What is, it, what is it that's going to bring again some more fulfillment and more contentment, contentment huh, to your life? And so, uh, you know, there's this um, sense with her that she's nurturing and it's, she's kind and compassionate. And it can be a simple message to be nurturing to others around you, compassionate, but also nurture yourself. And uh, for those that are caretakers, you know, it's a lot of energy to take care of someone within your family or a friend, children perhaps, and you devote so much of your time to helping others, that it's important that you also take some time to nurture yourself, treat yourself with love and compassion as well as you would treat others with kindness. So the Empress uh, loves the environment that she's in. And again, the environment is our world. It's a beautiful, beautiful spread uh, with, this, with this particular tarot, deck two. So let's take a look at the numbers. We have um, seven and 21 is 28 and three is uh, 31 and that reduces to four and four is about a firm foundation. It's about stability security, family, finding all those things and making them work. And now to close the reading, I'm going to select an oracle from Messages from the Guides, and we'll just get a little more information for Saturday. Take responsibility for your actions. Your actions drive your success in life. When you choose to do something, when you choose to move forward and not to live in the past, when you choose to let go of situations that are not serving you, and when you take responsibility for all the great things that you do, and maybe occasionally your whoops, when you own it, and you say, yeah, I'm, I was a bad dog there, or I just, I didn't mean to, for it to come out like that. I'm so sorry. Then you're able to take responsibility and then whoot, let it go. Move forward. Keep moving forward. But taking responsibility for your actions. It's a powerful, uh, powerful way of living. Because really, whether you know you're whether you're doing what you hope to do most of the time you could feel pretty good about it and then for the times it's like oh kind of lost the plot there you know as long as you have that awareness of your actions and that's going to help you in life it's to be self-aware it's to own it the good the bad the ugly but hopefully most of it's good Take responsibility for your actions. Do what you can to do to make the world a better place. And really, um, it is down to you. Each and every one of us, we're responsible for ourselves and how we live our life. And that should be our guiding force. And that's how we should think about each day is what can we do just with our own actions and our own thoughts and our own hopes or dreams of how can we make things better? What can I do to make things better? So I hope that you found something here that resonated with you today. If you did, please like, leave me a comment. I would love to hear from you. And most importantly, please consider subscribing to the channel. And I hope that you will. Please join me again tomorrow for another daily tarot reading. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.